In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ, and Father, Emmanuel, and all I share with you a touch of God's love, thus a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of uh, Thursday, 2nd May 2024. The readings are taken from Acts 15, 21 Psalm 95, 1 to 3, 10, and John 15, 9 to 11. The theme of the reflection is how your joy can be complete. How your joy can be complete. The first reading says, After the discussion had gone on a long time, Peter stood up and addressed the apostles and the elders. My brothers, he said, you know perfectly well that in the early days God made his choice among you. The pagans were to learn the good news from me, and so become believers. In fact, God, who can read everyone's hearts, showed his approval of them by giving the Holy Spirit to them just as he had to us. God made no, God made no distinction between them and us, since he purified their hearts by faith. It will only provoke, provoke God's anger now. Surely, if you impose on the disciples the very burden they are, the very burden that neither we nor our ancestors were strong in, enough to support, remember we believe that we are saved in the same way as they are through the grace of the Lord Jesus. This silenced the entire assembly. And they listened to Barnabas and Paul describing the signs and wonders God had worked through them among the pagans. When they had finished, it was James who spoke. My brothers, he said, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first arranged to enlist a people for his name out of the pagans. This is entirely in harmony with the words of the prophets. Since the scriptures say, After that, I shall return and rebuild the fallen house of David. I shall rebuild it from its ruins and restore it. Then the rest of mankind, all the pagans who are consecrated to my name, will look for the Lord, says the Lord who made this known so long ago. I rule then that instead of making things more difficult for pagans who turn to God, we send them a letter telling them merely to abstain from anything polluted by idols, from fornication, from meat of strangled animals, and from blood. For Moses has always had his preachers in every town and is read aloud in the synagogues every Sabbath. And the gospel says, Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I, kept, uh, I have told you this, so that my own joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. Beloved, in the Gospel, Jesus says that our joy will be complete if we remain in his love by keeping his commandments, that is, to live our lives according to his will, which we find in his word and in the inspiration of the Holy Spirit in our conscience and through the teaching of the church. And the, and the first reading shows that sometimes we have to sacrifice some traditional practices to be able to live in the will of God. Some cultural practices or traditional practices, sometimes we have to sacrifice that to be able to live in the will of God and to be able to find joy. 
as we saw yesterday, it was uh, the thinking of some Jews that the Jewish traditions are to be practiced by all Christians. However, Paul and Barnabas discerned that that was not the will of God. And so the apostles gathered to discern the will of God on this. Today's gospel sh reading shows that they used the word of God for the discernment. Peter talked about how God himself did not ask the Gentiles or the non-Jews to embrace the Jewish tradition before giving them salvation and the Holy Spirit. This was what was revealed to him. And this implied that imposing the traditions on non-Jews, non-Jewish Christians, will be an unnecessary burden. It is also already a burden on the Jews themselves. And uh, imposing it on non-Jews will be more a burden. Then Paul and Barnabas recounted the uncountable miracles God worked among the Gentiles without the Jewish traditions, indicating that it was not necessary. Those traditions were not necessary for the uh, non-Jew Christians. Then James pointed out how the Old Testament prophesied that after renewing the Jewish religion, the rest of mankind who are consecrated to God will look for him. He didn't say that the rest of mankind will also be made Jews or the Jewish traditions will be imposed on them. So uh, it implies that the Jewish traditions are not to be imposed on non-Jewish -Jew Christians or believers. Since scripture made this clear, uh, the apostles then exempted the non-Jews from the Jewish traditions, but only cautioned them to avoid things that they thought were sinful. Uh, they, they were asked to avoid those things. This shows that enculturation is taking cultural elements into Christianity, except what is sinful or what affects us negatively or what is harmful to us. In other words, for our joy to be complete, we shall, we shall live in the love of Jesus by avoiding anything that is against the word of God or anything that is um, un, unhelpful to us or anything that is harmful to us. It was uh, against the will of God to impose a Jewish tradition on non-Jews, non-Jewish Christians. These days in Ghana, we see some ethnic groups imposing their traditions on non-natives simply because the non-natives are staying in the town of the natives. They are imposing their traditions on them. This should be spoken against because it is unjust. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to say no to any tradition or cultural element that is against the word of God or that is not helpful to us or that is harmful to us. In the name of Jesus, your joy will be complete. Amen. Go and share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing or discussing this message uh, with others. Your subscription will enable us to do more. May Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.